HIV is not a death sentence. We are people too. More than a million people in Russia live with HIV and the epidemic there is growing. It's estimated over 250 people become infected every day. I don't like it when they call me HIV-ridden or a spreader of AIDS. I get the worst abuse in back alleys. Vitaly is one of the few gay people in Russia living openly with HIV. The only thing that makes me different are the four pills I take every day. Young people taking medication for HIV can expect a near normal life expectancy, but living with the disease in Russia brings many challenges. The extreme stigma against HIV-positive people in Russia stems from fear. Many still think HIV can be transmitted by breathing the same air, that HIV-positive people should be rounded up, denounced and sent away, to the moon or to Mars. So we slowly die off. It's very hurtful. We travel to Severalsk, a sleepy mining town with 26,000 residents in the northern Urals. 4% of the population here lives with HIV. The disease has spread beyond the higher risk groups such as gay men and drug users. What do the people who live here think? Is HIV a problem here? Lots of people are affected. They should really wash their hands. People should get vaccinated. Against HIV? Something like that. There are lots of rumors going around here. It's one of the biggest problems. Do you have HIV positive friends? Yes, I do. Many. They're all sick. There's a lot of unemployment. Many young people simply have nothing to do. And many of them are drug addicts. Half the people here are junkies. City authorities are trying to prevent new infections with free blood tests and public information campaigns, making Severalsk an example for other Russian cities. One of our methods is educating the population on how to protect themselves, how to live a proper, healthy and active life. And we talk a lot about the importance of restoring family values, not talking about sex, but of marriage and romantic relationships. Family values against HIV? To find out more on this strategy, we head to the city's town hall. These young people are singing traditional Soviet songs, and they say lessons from the past can help their future. We want to pass on the values of older generations to our young people. We're helping them to understand what love is, including love for our homeland. That's what these communist songs are about. And that's part of our HIV prevention plan. Russian society has become more socially conservative in recent years. And that's something that international AIDS charity AVERT says is a barrier to HIV prevention and treatment. I only told my mother eight years after I was infected. The first thing she said was, we had such high hopes for you. So that meant that I was finished. In my mother's world, HIV positive people are no longer human. They are dead. To shatter the stigma against HIV, Vitaly started a one-man campaign, holding a sign encouraging strangers to come up and give him a hug. His sign reads, I'm HIV positive. Hug me if you're not afraid. It's a protest against isolation in society.
You're not scared? No, I'm a doctor. Good job. Can we hug? <laughs> Only if you're not scared. Why should I be? Thank you. If any more people hug me, then I'm going to cry. It really touches me. This makes me stronger. And I'm beginning to realize I didn't do this for nothing.